Hello everyone. As you know, for quite a while now, we've been gathering funds and talking about our expansion, our building program as a congregation. And we've been saying this all throughout, but it's good to remember, this is not just about having a prettier building. It's not just about having uh, something that people drive by and say, wow, that is magnificent looking. It's about carrying out ministry, ministry that directly affects people like you, me, our neighbors, our families. So what we wanna do over the next couple of weeks is share with you stories, from members about how they got here and how God used us as a congregation to benefit them. And our hope and our, our goal in all this is that we remember it's not about a building, it's about people, it's about souls. And it's about carrying out the ministry that God has entrusted to us in the best way we can. Uh, we had uh, our first child and the congregation we were at uh, wasn't very young. There weren't a lot of uh, young families and we got a lot of interesting looks when our little guy would make a lot of noise and... Or if he would take off after a children's sermon up the high hallway. Yeah, and we thought, you know what, we need to find our home and maybe we haven't quite found our home yet. And we wanted to find somewhere that had a lot of young families and a diverse congregation and that led us to Shepherd of the Hills. So, to be honest, before we came here, we weren't very uh regular church goers it was you know maybe four or five times a year something like that and for me the pressures of work and life and you know things maybe weren't the greatest and then we came here um uh, and felt comfortable and not only that that's when god started showering especially me with the peace of not everything has to be perfect in in life and i knew that i wasn't perfect but maybe where we were before, it felt like everybody else was. And this was, you know, a collection of, of people that weren't perfect. And then you hear the message of God is that he's, he's willing to deal with everybody. And uh, that, that hit home with me. And that gives me the peace knowing that I have a home in heaven. One of the greatest gifts I think God has given me is peace and comfort with every situation. Um, you know, we face a lot of difficult times and when you're raising kids and you're raising a family and just being a part of a family there's a lot of difficult situations that happen and I find comfort knowing that um, it's all going to work out and God is always on our side and in any of these difficult situations I have some relief and peace and even some joy in those difficult situations. We have a congregation that really supports one another uh, in a lot of different ways. Um, Very and, encouraging people. Yes, they're they're always there to help you, to guide you, to support you. You never feel alone. I just can't imagine, honestly, ever feeling alone in any situation because we have this awesome family here and it's unlike anything I've ever experienced before. <laughs>